This video is sponsored by PageProof. If you are doing an infographic and you want a vertical timeline, the go-to program would be Illustrator. Or maybe not. Maybe you could automate it in InDesign using paragraph borders and paragraph rules. If we combine paragraph rules with indents, with paragraph borders, sequential styles, and nested styles, then we can select our raw text here, and we can just come and apply an object style to it. So let me just break this down for you. Um, My, my text frame is 500 points wide, so 250 is my center point. The right-hand column is left aligned with a left indent of 250 plus 20 points extra, so 270. The left column is right aligned, is that right? Yeah, with a right indent of 250 plus 20 pixels. And then, uh, let me come back, uh, let me turn that off. All right, so let's just take a look at the, the styles. So the, the right column, we have an indent like this, it's left aligned, it has a paragraph border that has a left negative indent at 250, the center point, and a paragraph rule that is set to the column width but is left indented by 250, the center point, and right indented by 235, meaning that your, the width of your horizontal rules is 15 pixels. Of course, you can adjust this to your liking. And then we have sequential styles so that the head, its next style is the right column. For the right column, its next style is the left column. And then we go back and then the right column, left column, just repeat. There is a um, line break at the end of every date. And that's what triggers the nested style for each of them where we have the color applies through one word, it just so happens that the day is just a single word. So if you plan that all out, then you can do your vertical timelines with a single click. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.